In this video, let's take a look at the publishing options available to us for our Composica course. Once you've completed your course, go ahead and save it. Then I recommend opening up the Project Manager. In the Project Manager, at a minimum, take a look at your Runtime Properties. In the Runtime Properties, make your selections in the various tabs. These will be the options used for your published file. And if applicable, you can go ahead and create a view to use for your published file. For example, here we have one view called Activities that will only display the selected activities pages chosen here. So if this applies to you, go ahead and make sure your view is set up. You can do it at this point. Then close out of the Project Manager. And in the Project ribbon, click Publish. This will open up the Publish dialog, and you'll have different options to use for publishing your course, including the Web Server option. The Web Server option will allow you to publish the project to the web server on which Composica is installed, providing you with a link to be used by the learners. This option is only viable if the target audience of the course has access to the web server. When you use this particular option, you can go ahead and choose the view you want to use. We just looked at that previously. Or you can opt to go ahead and publish out the entire project. You can choose a translation option. You can create a customized URL, as well as turn on basic student tracking. If, however, you need to be SCORM compliant, you have two different options here, SCORM 2004 and SCORM 1.2. Again, the SCORM compliancy options will allow you to generate a content package that will be fully compliant with your selected SCORM specifications, as well as giving you the ability to choose the view you want to use, translation options, whether or not you want to turn on the student tracking, as well as additional options here. Another publishing option would be the PDF document option. For the PDF document publishing option, it will create a static PDF version of the course, which is ideal for print and can also be provided as a portable document format. And you can also determine again which view you want to use, translation options, as well as additional PDF document settings. Maybe you want to go ahead and convert color to grayscale, strip images, show activities in the correct state, maybe go ahead and strip fill images and colors and so on. And this may help optimize the final size of the PDF document. You can also determine what layers are available and what you want to use as well as dynamic layers. Another publishing option might be one that you want to look at is the zip archive. The zip archive will generate a compressed zip package which can then be saved and later deployed anywhere. And again, you have the ability to choose the view you want to use for publishing as well as translation and basic student tracking. Another option is the executable application. The executable application publishes the course as a standalone executable application which can be executed on Windows platforms. And again, you have the ability to choose the view, translation options, student tracking, as well as some compression options too. One word of caution when using the executable application. There may be some computers that will not allow EXE files to load on their systems due to security restrictions. So this may or may not work on all computers. So be careful if you do decide to use this particular publishing option. And then of course you have the ability to create an installation package. When using this publishing option, it creates an installation package for installing a standalone version of the course on desired Windows platforms. No matter what publishing option you choose, go ahead and select it. For example, here, we'll go ahead and choose the web server. Then you go ahead and click OK, and then just follow along the dialog screens for more information. In this case, we've chosen to publish using the web server option, and it has published our course 
and it has created a URL that we can then use as needed for the course. One last authoring tip here. Anytime you make any changes to your Composica course, remember that you do have to go ahead and republish it.